since April 1st. This is the 11th driest stretch in parts of Iowa since records began back in 1893. And as this drought expands, it is becoming a growing concern for local farmers. While precipitation was near average during the winter months, the frozen ground did not allow the soil to absorb much moisture from the snowpack. This actually made things easier for planting crops like corn and soy this spring, but the lack of any beneficial rain has led to well below average soil moisture, which is a critical factor in determining crop yield, especially for corn in the next four to six weeks. Our target times for corn uh, are July, that time when we have tasseling, that's their reproductive time. That is the critical time for the biggest yield loss. Soybeans are a little bit different. They can kind of muddle along and muddle along as long, but then we need something for them in August. Late June and early July will be a key time frame to watch the weather pattern for any signs of increased rainfall. For now, unfortunately, that pattern looks generally unfavorable for at least the next seven to ten days throughout the area.